Robinhood is launching a new credit card and everyone and their grandma is going bananas about it because it could be one of the best cashback credit cards we've seen in a while. However, it might not be for everyone. So in this video, I wanna go over everything you should know about this card. Starting off with rewards, it earns 3% cash back on all purchases and 5% cash back on travel booked through the Robinhood travel portal. On top of that, the card has no annual fee or foreign transaction fees. Getting 3% cash back on everything is a big deal because most credit cards only offer between one to 2% here. And when they offer more than that, they usually come with restrictions like earning limits, specific categories, or annual fees. Now you're gonna be earning these rewards as points and each point will be worth one cent no matter how you choose to redeem. You can redeem for cash back into your Robinhood brokerage account or you can use your points to book travel in Robinhood's travel portal, make purchases on Robinhood's shopping portal, or buy gift cards from different merchants. This card also comes with perks and benefits, including travel protections, purchase protections, and access to concierge services. You can also make virtual cards with disposable numbers to keep your spending more private. So instead of using your Robinhood gold card number, you can make a virtual one and use it for specific purchases, monthly subscriptions, or at places where you don't really feel comfortable giving out your real card number. Robinhood is also making its physical cards numberless, so if they're lost or stolen, you're not gonna have to update your credit card information, similar to the Apple card. They're also launching a new app to go with the card that works seamlessly with the Robinhood app. That way you can switch between them without multiple logins. Oh, and according to their website, you can get pre-approved for this card with no impact on your credit unless you decide to accept the card offer, which is nice because you'll have an idea of whether you qualify for the card or not before getting a ding on your credit. Another cool feature is that you can add up to five family members as card holders to your account regardless of their age. Each person will also get their own card and you can track everyone's spending, set spending limits, and instantly lock any lost cards. So if you're a parent and want to help your teen build credit while keeping an eye on their spending, this could be very useful. They're even allowing you to provide cards to family members visiting from other countries. And the only information they need to provide is their name, date of birth, and social security if they have one. From the looks of it, they really want you to share your card, and I don't think their motive is family bonding. They know that the more people use the card, the higher the chance of accumulating debt and missing payments, which means they can make more money from you through late fees and interest charges. So while this can help your loved ones build credit, you need to be very careful because you're responsible for any charges they make. So try to only add people you trust and know can handle the card responsibly. You wanna be able to build credit, flex, and earn rewards together, not end up in debt together. Now, because Robinhood has had its issues in the past, many people aren't sure they can be trusted. And even though I use the Robinhood app myself, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you. Only time will tell. But what I did find out is that although Robinhood is offering the card, they aren't issuing it. The actual issuer is their partner bank, Coastal Community Bank, which is FDIC insured. So do with that information what you please. Now, one of the coolest things about this card is its fancy gold appearance, but don't be fooled, it's not real gold. It's actually made of stainless steel and weighs about 17 grams. However, if you refer 10 friends to sign up for the Robinhood Gold membership, you can get a 10 karat real gold card that weighs 36 grams, which is pretty cool, but when you think about it, a little dangerous if it attracts the wrong attention. So those are the card benefits. Now let's dive into the downsides because like I mentioned earlier, this card might not be for everyone. The first downside is that you have to be a Robinhood Gold member to sign up and use this card. Robinhood Gold is a paid service, so even though they advertise that this card has no annual fee, it technically does because you need this membership to get it. The membership costs $5 a month or $50 per year, but right now they're offering a 30-day free trial for those of you that are interested in trying it out. It comes with various benefits such as the Cash Sweep program that pays 5% APY on uninvested brokerage account cash, FDIC insurance up to $2.25 million, 3% IRA matching on every dollar contributed each year, higher instant deposits, and much more. Honestly, paying $5 a month to access all of these benefits plus the 3% cashback card might not be bad considering everything you're getting. I mean, some people spend that amount and more on things that don't really make them money, like Netflix. So you can see this as either a negative or a positive. Now, there are a few ways you can have this membership pay for itself. One way is by enrolling in Robinhood's 3% IRA match program and contributing money to it. For instance, if you put in $2,000, 3% of that would be $60, which would fully cover your membership fee. 
Another way is by using Robinhood's Cash Sweep program where you can earn 5% interest on your uninvested cash. For example, $1,400 of uninvested cash earning their current 5% interest rate could potentially earn you $70 of interest, which would cover the membership fee as well. This is of course assuming you're okay with leaving that amount in there instead of seeking higher returns somewhere else. Lastly, you can simply use this card for all your purchases. Making just $200 in monthly purchases will earn enough cash back to cover the membership fee. Some other downsides include the card's high APR, which falls between 20.24% and 29.99%. If you're late on a payment, you'll also be charged $29 the first time and $40 after that within six months. And if you lose your credit card, you'll have to pay a $40 fee for a replacement. So even though you can earn 3% cash back on all purchases with this card, Robinhood will make over six times that amount in interest charges and more if you're not responsible, which makes sense why they're offering 3% cash back. Like I always tell you guys, only spend on your credit cards what you can afford to pay back and always pay your balances off in full every single month. That way you avoid fees and damage to your credit score. Another downside is that the card isn't available yet. You have to join a wait list and wait for an invite. But Robinhood Gold members are going to be getting priority access after joining this wait list. So if you want to be one of the first ones to get it, you know what to do. The last downside is that this card doesn't offer a signup bonus unlike many other credit cards. So you're missing out on extra money and rewards that other cards offer when you first sign up. Now the question is, who is this card for? Well, I think it's a good option for people who already have a gold membership, use the Robinhood investment platform often, and want a credit card for purchases that aren't getting covered by their other cards. Getting a solid 3% cash back on everything is better than what many other cards offer, and it makes things easier for those who want to earn rewards without juggling multiple cards. Even if you have to pay the $5 monthly fee for Robinhood Gold, it can still be worth it, especially if you plan to use this card for all your daily purchases. According to this article, the average American spends over $18,000 a year on credit cards. So using this credit card for those purchases could potentially earn you $540 cash back per year, easily covering the membership and more. Now for me, even though I think it's a great card, I don't think I'll be getting it because I don't find much value in the gold membership. I also already have a bunch of credit cards that cover all my purchases. So getting another card, especially one without a sign up bonus incentive, just doesn't seem necessary to me right now. But hey, who knows, maybe I'll get it just to grab that 10 karat real gold version. If I do though, I'll make sure to do an unboxing video for you guys. Anyway, let me know below your thoughts on this card and if you plan to get it. Also, if you made it this far into the video, comment the word gold so I know who my loyal besties are. Oh, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch these other ones next. Okay, see you on the next one.